Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ed Hope, a junior doctor in the UK, and we're back with another rapid fight scene trauma diagnosis. This time, my favorite show at the moment, The Mandalorian. This is the bar fight scene, so the very first scene from season two. I do realize <laughs> the ridiculous nature of breaking down the injuries of what are essentially humanoid aliens and probably have wildly different anatomy to us, but hey, I'm gonna do it anyway. So we'll assume they've got the same anatomy as humans. I mean, they are humans underneath the costumes. So let's find out how deadly Mando is in a bar fight. Three, two, one, fight. fight. I'm not. <laughs> So the explosions from the whistling birds are probably not significant enough to cause primary blast injuries. So the only way I can conceive of these working is if they fire tiny directional projectiles when they detonate and cause a secondary blast injury. We see them here penetrate the head, neck, thorax and abdomen, all areas that can be fatal from a high velocity penetrating trauma due to damage to blood vessels and vital organs. <laughs> we have a kind of WWE style move from the Gamorrean guard here. Blunt trauma to the lower thorax, you're looking at rib fractures. Usually heal absolutely fine on their own, but we need to give the patients good pain relief because if they're not taking nice deep breaths, we can actually get a complication of a pneumonia. Multiple ribs broken in multiple places can lead to a flail chest. This is an emergency because the integrity of the chest wall can be compromised, leading to breathing difficulties. And any lower rib injury on the left side, we worry about damage to the underlying structure of the spleen, which is basically a big bag of blood. So if you get damaged to that and it pops open, then you're gonna need emergency surgery to stop hemorrhagic shock and death. Bib Fortuna's mate here takes a kind of blood force Beskar headbutt. Uh, easily a broken nose or fractured to one of the facial bones. Then a blood force trauma to the right iliac fossa. Then a left hook to the zygomatic arch, so that bony bit you see here easily could have fractured that. Punching Beskar here, not a good idea. Although Deveronians must have pretty strong bones because it doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all. In humans, this would no doubt cause a boxer's fracture, so an impaction injury that causes a fracture to the little finger and middle finger's metacarpal bone here close to the knuckle. We do an x-ray to diagnose, and this is usually an unstable fracture, so they're gonna need to see an orthopedic surgeon and have a K-wire inserted to keep that fracture in a good position. Mando deploys a rear elbow strike right on the face of, I think, a human. Broken nose, along with fractures of the facial bones. He doesn't lose consciousness, which is a good sign of sort of no major brain injury. And this dude here, he's really showing off the strength of his bones. He does eventually here take a blunt force trauma from a battle axe to the temple, which causes him to lose consciousness. This is a very worrying sign. Even if he regains consciousness, he still needs urgent medical attention because significant head injury to this area can cause an epidural hematoma, so a collection of blood from rupture to the middle meningeal artery. As this buildup of blood expands, it can compress the brain and can be fatal. So we need an urgent CT scan, and if there is a bleed, needs to see a neurosurgeon so we can put a hole through the skull and get rid of that blood. <laughs> Penetrate trauma to the cardiac box. To lose consciousness here, you'd think that the knife has actually gone straight through the heart and ruptured the ventricles, meaning the heart can't provide an output, can't provide a blood pressure to perfuse the brain. Obviously, very worrying sign and the patient's probably gonna die. Other possible injuries could include a cardiac tamponade, so bleeding around the heart or damage to the lung, such as a pneumothorax air around the lung or a hemothorax blood around the lung. All of these are also potentially fatal, but generally over minutes, not as rapidly as we see here. <laughs> And we end with another penetrating injury to the chest. 
right in that cardiac box area we just saw before, so all the same issues. Any foreign body like this should remain in place. In fact, we should secure it in place so it doesn't move around and only be removed in a surgical theater because it might be the only thing that's plugging up a blood vessel. In this circumstance though, if we think it's ruptured the heart with Mando's precision aiming, I don't think it's gonna make any difference whether it's removed or not because this person's pretty dead unless he's urgently put in a nappy and put in a back to tank. <laughs> Mando then promises to the Cyclops that he won't die by his hand and he kind of gets eaten by some kind of darkness jackal thing. I'm not totally up with modern Star Wars lore. First I thought he was going to leave him to be strung up and die that way because after several hours it would kill you uh, from a combination of difficulty breathing because all your organs end up squashing your lungs, make it harder to breathe, and heart failure because your heart's just not used to having all the blood from the lower part of the body constantly being returned to it from gravity. But alas, he doesn't die by his hand, he dies by these jackal things. Anyway. So there you have it, the first scene from season two of The Mandalorian. So let's do the kill count. None stable, unless you include Baby Yoda, thank goodness. Three in serious condition. Four in critical condition. And three dead at the scene. So there you have it, my rapid fight scene trauma diagnosis of this fantastic scene from The Mandalorian. I have been loving this season, particularly the latest episodes, and can't wait for the finale at the end of the week. That's kind of why I wanted to do this video. If there's any more kind of Star Wars scenes you want me to look at, I think that Vader scene from Rogue One might be a good one. But anyway, let me know in the comments below, and thank you again so much for all the support on the channel. And on that note, this is the way. Yeah.